Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to the channel. For many of you out there who have been following this channel, you probably know that I'm very much into coin collecting as well as stacking precious metals, especially silver. I find this hobby to be extremely rewarding. Especially when it comes to coin collecting, for sometimes you can find some gems out there which can be quite collectible and rare. And over the long term, you may even see some return on your initial investment. However, not all coins are collectible and there are many coins out there that are only worth their face value or even less. So when you're getting into this hobby, you do really need to know what you're doing and there's actually a lot of homework involved when you're getting into buying and selling these coins. With that in mind and for this video, I'd just like to share a sad story that I encountered when I visited one of my coin stores here in Singapore where I picked up this coin album. And the story has to do with the lesson that we should not have too high of an expectations about the coins that we collect in our hobby. But before we get to this album, I'd just like to put it out there that I do have a crowdfunding page on Buy Me A Coffee, the link of which you can find in the description text of my YouTube homepage. So go ahead and click on that, go and have a look, and I would appreciate any support that you guys can give as this channel here is not monetized. Okay, with that all done, let's go ahead and talk about this coin album. Alright, uh, just to give you a little backstory about this album, I was recently at China Jialong, one of my favorite coin stores located near the City Hall MRT station right here in Singapore. And while I was there, an elderly lady walked in looking to sell some of her coin and banknotes collection. The lady had been told by her friends and family that her collection was quite valuable worth a fair bit of money and she was looking to cash in. Unfortunately, when the owner of China Jialong and me looked through her collection and apart from a few items, most of her coins and banknotes were not worth a more than face value or even less than that, which was a really disappointing news for her. In particular for this album here, which contained most of the Australian and New Zealand coins, the lady had high hope for this album, thinking that these coins here will give her a really good return. Uh, we told her that all these coins are actually just worth their face value. And the owner initially didn't want to buy this album from her. The lady of course was quite distraught with the news. And when we saw that, we eventually decided to buy this album at a little bit above face value. The owner knows that I collect Australian coins and I told him that I'll bring uh, these coins back to Australia and put them back into circulation. It was fortunate that I was there because if I wasn't, the owner would have opted not to buy this album from the lady. And with me over there taking this album immediately off his hands, at least the lady would walk away with a little bit of money. Now I had to look through this album and there are a few coins that I'll be keeping. So when we cut to the next screen, I'll quickly flip through the album to show you what are the coins inside. And then I'll pull out the coins that I'll be keeping for my own collection. Okay, so here's a closer look at the coins in the album. I'm sorry for the glare, but what we have inside here are mainly Australian coins with a few New Zealand coins. All these are circulating coins and I didn't pay a much more than face value for all of them. We can see some uh, Australian 50 cents, $1, $2 coins, 5 cent coins. Here we have uh, more 50 cent coins from Australia. A 20 cent a New Zealand coin. Uh, these coins are no longer in circulation. Some $2 coins here. And right on the last page, we have uh, some uh, circulating Australian $1 coins. Okay, I'll quickly run through now the coins that I'll be keeping from this album. Again, uh, those coins are basically worth only their face value apart from a couple of coins from Australia. For the New Zealand coin, I'll just be keeping this single 50 cent piece. This is the Endeavour coin from 1977. This coin looks like it's in fine grade. This is the copper nickel version of the 50 cent coin, which is no longer in circulation. The coins now in New Zealand are all in stainless steel. And the 50 cent coins currently in circulation now in New Zealand are actually smaller than this. I do have this coin in my own collection. This coin is in uncirculated, beautiful grade. And you can see the difference of this coin with the coin that came from the album. Uh, 
this coin is probably uh, not worth uh, much more than the face value. We'll move on now to the Australian coins and I won't be keeping any of the 5 cents or 10 cents. I'll just be keeping uh, one of the 20 cents, which is this coin here from 2001. And this is the Donald Bradman coin. This is a common uh, circulating coin, but I only have one of these coins in my collection. So awesome to be able to add another one. Among all the other 20 cent coins, it's just a uh, one coin here from 1966. This was actually the first coin that caught my eye when I opened up the album. Unfortunately, however, this is not the wavy. And you can tell uh, whether this coin is the wavy or not by looking at the bottom line here of the number two. If you can see a wave or a lump over here, that's the highly desirable and very collectible a wavy 20 cent coin from 1966. Uh, those coins in high grades are worth a few hundred dollars. Unfortunately, uh, this coin here is only worth its face value. And I'll bring it back to Australia and throw it back into circulation. Next, we have these Australian $1 coins. These are common commemorative coins. They are only worth their face value, so I won't be keeping any of them. Just to show you some of them. Here we have a land care coin from 1993. I don't see any cuts on it. So this is just a common commemorative. Uh, nothing else much inside here. The Kingsman Speed coin. Again, another common commemorative. Of all the $1 Australian coins, I'll probably be just keeping uh, this single piece here. This coin is from 1986 and this is the International Year of Peace coin. Again, this coin is a common commemorative. However, this coin is in quite a good grade. I'll probably say uh, extra fine. Unfortunately, there's a scratch right over here. So that will detract from its value. But I think I only have one of these coins uh, in my collection. And that coin is in probably a worse shape than this. So this will make a great replacement for that coin. We come now to the 50 cent coins. Uh, all the coins in the album are common dates. Of interest is this coin here from 1972. Uh, coins from the early 1970s, uh, the 50 cent coins, uh, tend to have a lower mintage. However, uh, this coin here is in pretty much a well circulated condition, so it's not worth anything. Here we have a coin from 1983. Uh, nothing special about this year. However, this particular coin is in quite good grade, uh, with very little wear on it. So I'll be keeping this coin for my own collection. There are three or four Australian $2 coins in the album. Uh, nothing much to talk about them. They'll be going back into circulation. However, the pick of the litter from the album are two coins from 2001. These are the State Federation coin. Here's the first one. And this coin is from Queensland. Here's the second coin. And this coin is from Western Australia. Both these Federation coins are quite collectible in any condition. They are worth a few dollars, so I'm quite happy to add them to my collection. Here's my 2001 Federation coin collection. There are 10 designs to collect in total. And as you can see from this page, I'm trying to complete two sets. The Queensland coin is over here. And with the addition of the second coin, I now have two of them. while the Western Australia coin is right over here. And now I have two of these coins. And here are the six coins that I'll be keeping for my own collection. Other than the two Federation coins, uh, all these other coins here are actually are not worth anything. But they will make a fine addition to my New Zealand and Australian coin collection. And the rest of the coins here will be going back to Australia and I'll be putting them back into circulation. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit the share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.